State House in Indianapolis. His goal to testify before a special session about why a casino referendum should be put in front of voters in Fort Wayne. News Channel 15's Megan Stemble also spent the day in Indianapolis and has more in tonight's top story. Well, Mayor Tom Henry's assigned slot to speak to the panel today was delayed by two hours. When he finally was able to address the legislators, he was met with some impatience. So I don't understand the uniqueness of this situation, but thank you for coming nonetheless. Are you for a non-binding referendum or are you for gaming in Fort Wayne? Tough questions to Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry today from a special gaming study committee. Mayor Henry tried to read his prepared statement but was interrupted by the committee chairman. Henry did have time to lay out the results of a Fort Wayne poll that showed 89% of people want a referendum on expanded gaming. The poll was of 600 Fort Wayne registered voters and was paid for by Henry campaign funds. Despite that, Senator Ron Altine questioned the mayor about the lack of a push for a county-wide referendum rather than just a city one. With the county of Allen, the commissioners have already expressed, I think, their opinions uh, publicly, their opposition. Afterwards, Henry said it was a productive hearing. Obviously, we were, we were in some time constraints. So we could not get into the depth that we wanted to, but I felt that they, they asked some very good questions, and I felt that the answers that we gave them really helped them out in the decision-making process. Mm -hmm. Mayor Henry, not the only one down here today seeking a casino referendum. Stu Ben County had several county and city officials down here doing the same thing. This is the second time they've addressed the commission because they're aggressively seeking the jobs that a new casino might bring. Reporting from the Indiana State House, I'm Megan Stemble, News Channel 15.